What's up everyone, Bradley Jack Design here with another design breakdown. This time, this Dr. Manhattan Lamar graphic I created. Um, I had a friend who I used to work with DM me randomly and say, you should make a Lamar Jackson Dr. Manhattan graphic. I don't know why, but I went ahead and did. So found this really nice photo of Lamar to use and turned him into Dr. Manhattan. Except for the hair, because turning him bald was gonna look weird and I figured I'd just leave all his hair in there, so. Uh, I've got all the layers hidden here, so I'm going to hop right in here and show you what it took to create this. Um, so I have the background here. Um, I just have some blue, um, and then I have just a photo of some of the sky, some stars in the background, set to 60% with a gradient map on top of that. Just sort of a blue, interesting space background because it's Dr. Manhattan, you know. I don't know. That's what I felt like putting there. So. The main thing we have is this photo of Lamar Jackson where he's got all of this Dr. Manhattan stuff going on. So let me hop in. So this is the original photo of Lamar Jackson that I have, and here's all the editing I did. So started off with a camera raw filter and some and an unsharpened mask. Um, these are I used probably one of the actions that I have. I probably went ahead and used um, my blue fix action that I, I have available for purchase, which basically is going to edit the image, sharpen it a little bit, and then tweak some of the colors. And that's what all of this was. So, you know, if I go in here, turn off all this stuff, turn on this general editing, this is the before and this is the after. So a lot more detail, a lot more sharpness. It might be a little bit too much, but um, I think I wanted to really accentuate everything going on in here. Um, I went ahead and clipped him out. So I went ahead and just used the selected mask and clipped out all of his hair. Um, I went ahead and then added a layer to change his hair color. This is just a gradient map. Um, it's just a black and white gradient map that I went ahead and masked back in some of his hair. So instead of having it be so blue, so brown, I turned it to be just black. Um, and I did that because I'm going to change the color of his skin anyway, so it's not going to affect anything in here regardless. So I've got some editing we did for him. And then I changed the hair color to be all black. Then I just took a gradient map that looks like this. Um, I think I found a photo of Dr. Manhattan and just sampled some colors around his skin, some highlights, some darker areas of his skin and threw them in the spectrum. And then I took that and painted in around his face. Um, painted around his, I erased his mouth because I didn't want his teeth to be blue. I wanted that to look right. And then his jersey and the chain he's wearing, I took it off of that as well, but painted everywhere around to turn his skin blue. Um, then the eyeballs, I basically just took, what does this layer do? I don't know. What is this layer doing? It's weird. It's set to multiply. So I think this was too light. So I think I was evening out what his eyes looked like. But then I just went in and I think this is just masked to the shape of his eyeballs. Let me take this off. Yeah, so I wanted to darken around the edges of his eyes. That's what I put there. And then I just painted in with a soft brush white to make it look like he had white eyes with no pupils, which is what Dr. Manhattan has. So then we've got some white eyes with no pupils. Then I just took the Dr. Manhattan symbol, threw it on his forehead, and then I went into the blend if and made it. So let me show you what this does. So this is the regular black symbol I use. If I hold down the option key, I can grab this left side of this tab and drag it over. And as you can see, as I progress, you're seeing more and more of the highlight from his skin coming through. So I wanted to make it so it looked like it was on his skin. And this definitely does the job using blend if. So that's the general editing I did for this image. So I have the image set. The image is here in this space. Um, I don't know why this group is here. Oh, we'll turn that on and turn this off. What do we got in here? Oh, it's the editing of that. Okay, cool. Well, let me get rid of that because we don't need it. Okay, so we've got Lamar here, um, but I wanted to make it look like he was glowing because Dr. Manhattan glows and whatnot. So I took, I held down the command key, selected this layer up here, not that one, 
and basically just blurred it um, using select, modify. I probably feathered actually the selection of this. And then I just filled it in with some light blue. I also probably just filled it with light blue and then used a Gaussian blur on it. Um, but that's set to overlay, which gives a little bit of a glow around it. I took just the image of Lamar here and set it to glow, um, which is set to, which is the same layer set to screen with a Gaussian blur on it. So if I turn this off, you can see that you can barely see that he's here because he's set to screen. If I turn the Gaussian blur off, you can see it's only showing the highlights of it. So there's a Gaussian blur, a little bit more of a glow. Let me turn that layer back on. And then a back layer set to screen at 100%, which is probably just the same layer I used to do the first glow, blurred a little bit more. So we've got a little bit of a glow behind him. So on top, I have some light lightening of Lamar. So I duplicated the layer, blurred it, and I used blend if to get rid of pretty much all of the darkness. Anything that's dark, it's pretty much uh, not affecting, it's blending in all of the dark layers to the light. So it's really only affecting the light layers. The same thing here, it's only affecting the light layers. These I basically just threw on there, set to screen and at 100% and 50% to brighten up because Dr. Manhattan glows or whatnot. So then I've got a little bit more lighting, as you can see here, which is just overlay set to 50% on top of it, which just lightens everything up. So you can see, oops, this is before lighting, this is after lighting. Just brightens everything up just a little bit. So we've got Lamar. He's set, we've got him turned blue. Um, now it's just a bunch of fun additions to the graphic essentially. So I've got some background light stuff. So that's what this is here. This is a photo of the Aurora Borealis. So I have that set to the bottom, set to screen. I've got a levels layer on top of that. Oh, hold on, I'm looking at a different one. So this is bottom list. Hold on, let me get rid of that. Let's go back down here where we were. So I have a gradient map on top of this background to turn it blue. Um, it's the same blue that I used before, so everything's the same. But this looked a little too light, so I darkened the background a little bit by having a levels layer on top of everything in the background, and I moved the midpoint um, over to the right to make everything in the midpoint a little bit darker. So that is the background. Then I've got some smoke. So as you can see this barely really subtle smoke I have that I also colored with a gradient map the same color. If I open this up, this is just some smoke I found on Unsplash. Set to screen for the background, just as a little bit more texture. So, and then on top of Lamar, we have this layer I showed you before on accidentally. So it's the same Aurora Borealis image uh, with the same gradient map with a little bit of a levels layer on it to tweak what you're seeing. I wanted way more contrast, so that's why I tweaked these. You could probably do the same thing with a curves layer. I just used a levels layer for this. So there's some stuff glowing in the front. And then I've got some smoke highlighting. So if I click here and click here, it's got some smoke highlighting. I'm like, why does it look so weird? It's because I don't have the levels layers turned on. So I've got level levels layers on top of those to get rid of the edges. These are very subtle things. You can see just a little bit of smoke here. And I have these colored as well with a gradient map to turn them blue. So a little bit of sort of some fog on his shoulders. And then I have, the reason I have those on there is because I have these little smoke images on the side. So these are just highlighting the smoke images. So this is just an image. It's the same exact image I used in the background, just repurposing it a different way. So I have them smaller set to screen on his shoulders with the same gradient maps I've used for other ones, the same colors at least, to show a little bit of smoke on his shoulders. And these are all set to screen as well. Then I have um, some lightning, some sort of anime lightning effects. So I've got this lightning effect I downloaded, um, I went ahead and duplicated that a couple times, gave the duplicated ones different varying outer glows. 
this outer glow is set to 65%, 66%, and it's set to 87 pixels, and this other one is probably a little bit more intense. Oh, they're the exact same. All right, cool. So I've got a little bit of glow on here just to make it look like it was glowing or emitting light. And I threw these same gradient maps on top of those just to make sure that the color was consistent throughout. And I have this masked around um, Lamar so it looks like it's going behind him to add a little bit of depth. Then I have a hue and saturation layer on top of this. Why? I guess it wasn't saturated enough. So you can see it saturates a little more when I turn that layer on. And then I did the same thing for the right. So I have this different lightning effect that I masked to look like it's going behind him. Outer glow layer, outer glow layer, gradient maps on all of it. So now we have this lighting on Lamar as if he's emitting lightning and the same hue and saturation layer. So everything is consistent from left to right. Then I've got some added textures on top. I've got this lens dirt. Um, that I added so you can see here. It's adding a little bit of depth from the front same gradient map we used before and then I have an additional layer Of just these sort of like little sparkle bokeh sparkle things I have those set to screen With a little bit of a blur because it's in front It's sort of like supposed to be on the lens you're looking at so it's a little dirty with a little bit of a gradient map on top of that as well. If I turn the Gaussian blur off, you can see it's real sharp. You know, it's, it looks distracting instead of complementing the design. So I've got some textures in the front and then I just have some color lookups. So I've got three color lookups on here. Let's see what they are. So I have horror blue. So since this is blue, I wanted to add a color lookup to add a little bit of blue into it. So if I turn that on. You can see it's adding a little bit more contrast. It's tweaking the blues to be a little more cyan. This is only set to 20%. If I have this set to 100%, this is what it would look like, which looks cool, but I wanted to show more of the natural blues that are in it. Then I have teal orange plus contrast. That's also set to 20%. Adding a little bit more contrast, you can see around his chin and in the background. And then on top of all of that, I have a Kodak 2395, which I put on a lot of my designs, where you can see just sort of barely washes things out because this is set to 20%. If I set it to 100%, you can see it washes a lot of the darkness out, but I can just set it to 20% like it is, and that is what it is set to. So that's what it took to make this design. Um, all in all, I mean, it was a fun little side project to do for fun. Um, using some lighting effects, turning someone's skin blue is always fun. So um, simple gradient maps will do that, which are why I like using them all the time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for breakdowns or tutorials you want to see, please drop a comment below and let me know. Um, also, let me know below uh, what you took out of this most, um, if there's something you learned or something that's gonna stick with you in this design and this breakdown, I'd really appreciate it. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video and make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks.